movie in just a little bit, but first of all, I want to talk about the, the important thing, Elvis's music. You may be like me, I was wondering like what had been happening because of the movie influencing the love of Elvis and growing the fan base. Here's some statistics I found out for you, or statistics if you're from Indiana. Um, Elvis's, Elvis's music catalog has grown 77% worldwide. People listening to Elvis's music. Eighty-six percent it has increased in streaming in the United States. So seventy-seven percent worldwide, eighty-six percent in the United States. Elvis's Elvis's album, thirty number one hits, increased sixty-six percent worldwide and seventy percent in the U.S. of downloads. And that album, Elvis's 30 number one hits, returned to the top 40 album charts at number 26 for the first time in 19 years. I think Elvis getting some new albums to put on the wall in there. Um, also, uh, the songs that have seen the highest gross uh, in streaming, the growth in streaming, and these are the ones that, that people go on to the Spotify's and the, and the iTunes and all that, and the Apple Music, and they click and they listen and they download this. Uh, the songs are Can't Help Falling in Love, Mark James, the writer of Suspicious Minds, will be very happy that his, his song is on, and If I Can Dream. And Spotify listeners, on the day the movie opened, Elvis had 13.7 million people following him on Spotify. 13.7. This morning, it was 16.4. Now, here's the one that's because of the movie and because of you. Because you took those people to see this movie. Just think about it. If you're less than 45 years old, you weren't even here when Elvis was here. Under the age of 35, Elvis' listening audience, in total, 56% is under 35. You drug a kid into the movie, and when you came out, they said, can you play some of that, Elvis? Uh, I've met so many people who've done that. And I've also met so many of you that have seen the movie multiple times. I've not met anyone that hasn't seen the movie, and I've not met anyone that's only seen it once. So, way to go. By the way, how many times have you seen Top Gun Maverick? One. There you go. Hey, I'm not... Hey, Tom Cruise has to make money, too. We share the first name and the same height, so that's pretty cool for me. Um, now, down in my hometown, hopefully you have been to Tupelo, Mississippi, birthplace of the king of rock and roll. As, as we like to say, what happened in Memphis was born in Tupelo, and uh, a person...